today on Craft Club for Kids, we're going to make an easy and cute toilet paper tube dog craft. So to get started, we need some supplies. We need a toilet paper tube. We need a black crown marker or pencil crown, a pencil, some paper. Here I have a little bit of black and a little bit of white. You need some scissors and glue. You don't need a lot of paper and you also don't need these colors. If your toilet paper tube is a different color or your paper pieces are a different color, that's okay. It just means your dog will be a different color. To get started, I'm going to start with the ears. My black piece of paper, I'm going to fold over. So I'm folding it over left to right. It's just a small piece, so my black piece of paper, remember I fold it over and I'm going to draw my ear on this. I'm going to start at the bottom and go a little bit to the left, curve around and come back the other way. So I'm going to the bottom a little bit to the left, I'm going to curve around and come back the other way. And I'm just going to go back here just to make sure I can see it. And there you go. That is my ear. Whatever color you would like your ear, that is what you are going to use to draw your ear and then cut them out. Now remember I folded my piece of paper so when I cut I'm going to end up with two. If it doesn't work or you can only do one at a time, that's okay. Do what works for you. I'm going to use that extra piece of black paper and I'm going to draw a circle for my nose. So on my piece of paper I'm drawing a small circle. Once I have my circle, I going to cut that out. Now remember this is going to be your nose so if you would like your nose in a different color that is also okay. Just draw a circle on whatever color you would like your nose to be and then you are going to cut that out as well. So we have our ears cut out, we have our nose cut out. Let's move on to the next step. I am going to use my white piece of paper for this next step. Now if you don't have white or you're using a different color that's okay so this is going to be for the eyes and for the paws so my white piece of paper I fold in half and then I'm going to draw a smaller circle for my eyes and a little bit of a bigger circle for my paws so smaller circle for my eyes a little bit bigger than that for my paws and once I'm done those because I folded it in half see I folded it in half I only have to cut once now when I cut each of these, I'm going to end up with two of each. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay. Just draw two eyes and cut them out and draw two circles for our paws and cut those out. Once again, I'm using white, but you can be creative as you would like. You do not have to use the same colors that I am using. It is an opportunity for you to be creative and have fun. Okay, so here we go out right on those lines the best I can. Now I'm going to use that white piece of paper because I'm going to not want my black marker to go through on my workspace. So I'm going to take my black marker and on my larger white circle, so my larger white circle, I'm going to draw a circle right at the bottom. So on my circle I'm drawing a circle and then above that I'm drawing four little circles. So you'll see as I go here I've got one circle at the bottom and four above and that's going to be one of my paws. I'm going to do the exact same thing again on the larger circle. So I'm going to draw a circle at the bottom. It's a little bit bigger and then four little circles spaced out evenly above. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to fix them up and make sure that they look okay. Now what I'm going to do is create the pupil for the eyes. So remember those smaller circles we cut out for our eyes? I'm going to put that on top of here and I'm going to draw a small black circle on the inside. That's going to be my pupil. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other circle because I want two eyes. Now if something doesn't work, don't worry, just try again. It is all fine when you are crafting. Okay, I'm going to take my toilet paper tube. Now mine's white. Remember yours doesn't have to be and I'm going to start assembling the pieces that we have so far. So I'd like to put the eyes on first so I know exactly where my ears will go. So if I put the eyes right in beside one another, kind of a little bit further down from the top, not quite in the middle, then I know that the ears will go on each side. So there, my eyes, I'll start with my nose next. Here we go, we've got our nose nicely placed place it wherever you think it looks good for you. Now I'm going to take my paws and put those right at the bottom. So right near the bottom I'm going to put my paws. You don't want to put them too far apart otherwise you won't be able to 
able to see them when you stand up your dog. So I just want to put them fairly close together. There we go. And my ears. So because I put my eyes, I'm going to find that flat part of the ears and I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And because I put those eyes, it helps me to place the ears. I don't want the ears covering the eyes. I just want them right beside. And there we go on either. There's one side of the eye. So on either side, we're going to put an ear. So here's my ear. Remember on the flat part, put a little bit of glue and place your second ear on the other side. So I have an ear on the left. I have an ear on the right. There we go. Now I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to right underneath the nose, put a little mouth. So all I do is put a little U to the left and a little U to the right. And then I am also going to use that black marker to add some spots to my dog. Now I'm just going to randomly put spots on my dog. Here I think at the top I'll put a little U and then just color it in. You could put a whole bunch of spots. You don't have to put spots. You could use black paper and cut out spots and glue them on. There is no right or wrong. I think down here I'm going to put kind of a random blob spot that's not quite a circle. And then just make sure I color it in. And I think I need one more. There we go. So I have my spots. You could keep going and add more if you like. But what I'm going to show you next is the tail. So here we go. With the tail, you want to choose the color that you would like. I'm using white for my tail. I'm going to grab that white piece of paper we used earlier. I'm just going to put it right beside my toilet paper tube just to make sure that my tail is the length I want. And I am going to draw kind of a bit of a curved line. So I go straight and then I'm going to curve up and then come around and back. So I just went up as a little curve around and back. And I think that's a good size for my tail. Your tail can be whatever length you would like and whatever size you would like. Once you have it drawn on your page, you are going to cut it out. Now, because we put spots on our dog, I'm actually going to also put some spots on this tail. So I'm gonna put it on top of my white piece of paper so the marker doesn't go through on my workspace. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did on my dog and just draw some random spots on my tail so that it matches the rest of my dog. And when you're happy with the way your tail looks, you are going to glue your tail on the back of your dog. So once you're happy with your tail, you're going to take your tail, take your glue, and you're going to place the glue on the flat part of the tail. So the flat part of the tail, you put a little bit of glue, and then you're just going to turn the dog over and glue the tail on the back of your dog. And you've done it. You've created an easy and cute toilet paper tube dog craft. And you can create it in any colors and make as many as you want. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.